Hi Scorpio, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing well. We're going to do your messages from Spirit and the Angels. Please know that this reading can be about any area in your life, so just really listen to the messages. See how they resonate with you. Listen to your thoughts, your feelings, your intuition, and you'll know how they resonate, okay? Um, just want to say everything you need to know is in the description box. Um, I am giving away one free personal reading each month. To enter, you just need to be a subscriber, um, leave a comment, and like the video. So good luck, Scorpio, if you'd like to enter. Uh, almost done pulling your cards here. Oh, two messages there. And the last final message will be a message from Archangel Michael. All right, and I will read this message at the end of the reading here. Okay, so there you go. All right, let's see what your first message is. Okay, so you got inner work here. God or my higher power brings me ideal situations for my inner healing. As I become aware of my weaknesses, I turn them into strengths. I direct my thoughts towards the light and see the positive side of every stage of my life. Darkness turns into courage. Thus, I get stronger. So really, really nice energy. So some of you may be going through a transformation in your life at this time. Um, some of you may be like really doing some inner work, right? Some self-development. Um, is the energy there. This also can be an energy with this orange color here. It's the sacral chakra. There may be things that you're pursuing, like your passions, your desires, you know, things that make you happy. Some of you, it may be even life purpose. So really nice energy. Now, if some of you are struggling, right, maybe to make changes in your life, um, or you can't see, right, you can't see it right now, um, I say to people, you can take a screenshot and you can actually say this as an affirmation. Okay, these make really good affirmations. So let's see, um, I'm going to put your cards out before I actually start the reading here. Nice energy, I feel like you have Scorpio and then Actually, let me pull the bottom of the deck here. Actually, I'll just pull the card instead of putting the whole deck there. It's so definitely um, a big deck. Okay. So Scorpio, you have this nine of air here. Okay. So I feel like Scorpio, there may be something that's on your mind. This can be worry, right? This can be stress. Uh, can be overthinking something here. But what I see here, and it's interesting because you have the pig spirit here, and the pig spirit is about using your mind and your thoughts wisely, right? And you also have the cat spirit here, which is about, right, claiming your independence, right? So it, it kind of goes in line with that inner work. I feel like right now, Scorpio, you're being guided here to really take some time to yourself um, and to clear your thoughts. There's a lot of different ways you can clear your thoughts. If you're worried about something, you're feeling stuck, right? Meditation is a good form of releasing, right? Those, you know, overthinking, mind clutter, you know, all that kind of stuff. Okay, this can be also too, I get with this uh, this angel or this girl here really spreading her wings. It may be time for change for you. And that's what I feel here, Scorpio. It could be in any area of your life. So I feel like you're going through change. Uh, you may be worried, right, about the change, but I feel here with this ten of fire, there's some sort of heaviness or burden um, that you need to let go of. Okay, this is telling me um, an end of a difficult cycle is happening for you. That's the transition. That's the transformation I, I see here in your life. And with this card, I love this card, how they do it, because if you look closely, um, they're pages of musical notes, okay, and they're burning. So it's, you know, like you're releasing something here, okay? You're releasing maybe a past chapter in your life, okay? And, 
you know, this is, uh, as I say here, right, it's about writing your own sif symphony here, okay? So there may be something here that you thought um, at one time, right, you saw a lot of stability with, you saw a lot of happiness with, but I feel like that's changing here. You got the Ace of Earth. So I feel like you're building something new. There's the end of a difficult cycle or letting go of something that I feel was very heavy, very burdensome for you. And that can mean a lot of different things, okay? It could be around your health. It could be around your career, right? Maybe some of you are pursuing a new career. Some of you may be pursuing a new relationship. Maybe you're letting go of a relationship that was really heavy for you. But with this Ace of Pentacles, the universe is telling you there is something very secure in your future here. But it's, you know, you have to uh, have that mindset. Okay, that's why they're saying here, use your mind wisely because when you're up in your head, right, and there's worry or, you know, there's, anxiety or stress or you know you're thinking about one specific situation in your life and it's just going over and over in your head right i feel like that's what you're needing to let go of there's something a situation maybe a person right maybe a detail here you're needing to let go of because I feel like when you do that, right, when you release this burden or you release this heavy energy, I'm just going to say, maybe some of you need to do a sacral chakra clearing, right, to stimulate that chakra to release negative energy, right, um, to really open up your passions, your desires, okay? But I feel like with this three of wands here, there is definitely something, some sort of new potential or offer that is coming your way with this ace of earth, but there's something here needing to be released, I feel, okay? And some of you, this may be about you opening up your opportunities, pursuing opportunities, uh, looking at the future, right? Is there something else out there for me now can be around a career that you don't like right maybe there's a new way of changing your lifestyle right to live more healthy okay some of you it's going to be around a relationship okay opening your opportunities around a relationship okay now i'm going to say in this card uh, this person's wearing a mask all right I'm kind of looking away, not looking forward, which is interesting. And so Spirit's pointing that out to me because I feel like with this Nine of Swords energy, you may not be seeing the potential here in the situation, but there's something that is, is coming towards you, I feel, that has a lot of potential, has a lot of peace, joy, happiness here with the Sun card. Okay, it's right here with the Ace of Earth. And I'm going to say here, Scorpio, for some of you, Right, if, if there is something heavy that you've been focusing a lot of your energy into, I feel like they're saying here, maybe now is the time, right, for you to kind of pull back um, from whatever this is or maybe just a certain uh, area of your life where you focus your time on you, okay, doing your inner work, maybe healing, maybe, you know, learning new things, okay, maybe focusing on your health, focusing, right, on self-improvement, could be anything, right, but there's some sort of, there's some sort of, um, I feel new beginning here that the universe wants you to see, and it's bringing you something really stable, for your future. It's something you're building. You're building a foundation. Some of you, it's just building a foundation, right? About, uh, uh, it's about building your own inner foundation, okay? Making yourself strong, confident, um, maybe assertive, right? There's a lot of different things here, right? Some of you may be around, you know, a relationship, okay? Letting go of a toxic or unhealthy relationship um, because there's potential, right, um, of something more stable in the future, okay? And this is the change here, and I'm going to go back to this card here. This is the change here that, you know, there may be some weaknesses, right, that you turn into strengths. You've learned a lot um, throughout your life, like everybody, right? 
and um, it's time to see the positive right time to see the positive so that you can go forward towards something here I feel that's meant for you okay can be an indication there's an upcoming offer coming your way but you won't you won't see it right if you're in this energy okay so Let's uh, see what your Archangel Michael card shows. And I'm going to say here too, um, Scorpio, is that these readings aren't just about, I know I picked up the wrong thing here. These readings aren't just about, right, um, you know, I'm telling you here what you want to hear, okay? Or, um, you know, I'm just telling you all the good stuff that's coming into your life. This These readings are about... Spirit and your angels giving you messages to help you, right? To help you because you, some of you may be going through a challenging time or maybe you can't see, right, the, the path here. And so these are the messages you get from spirit. And, you know, some of you, you know, may not be what you want to hear, but this is what spirit is telling you, okay? So let's see what your Archangel Michael message is. So you have here, um, forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. Archangel Michael sees that guilt is interfering with your happiness you seek. You're blaming yourself for something that's in the past, but it's time to let it go, okay? There's that energy, right? Letting it go. Especially since self-blame is unproductive and unhealthy. In truth, you've done nothing wrong. You were doing the best you could at the time. So possible specific meanings here could be think and speak lovingly about yourself. Stop ruminating about the past. Send blessings to those you're angry with as a way of healing yourself in the situation. Know that you can't control other people's feelings or reactions, okay? Some of you, I feel too, with this next one, it could be around an addiction, letting go of an addiction. Join a support group such as Al-Anon. So there's a prayer here, and I always tell everybody you can take a screenshot as well. Uh, I ask that you help me let go of self-blame and forgive myself. Please guide me in releasing any toxic anger or fear towards others. And thank you, Archangel Michael, for allowing me to feel centered and at peace. All right. So nice message there from Archangel Michael. I feel Scorpio right now is a time to really focus on you um, and building, you know, a, sol a solid foundation for yourself within. And also there's something I feel upcoming here right? Some uh, new opportunities that are going to present itself to you that I feel could lead to something, right? Stable and secure from the future. Okay, so Scorpio, I hope this reading helped you. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.